kind of want to lick it. Mmm. Okay, I'm just going to have to do this. I'm just going to... Mmm. I just want to fast forward to the moment where I can just put the tiramisu in my mouth. That would be fantastic. Hello everyone, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another cook with me video. As you can see by the title, we are making something very delicious. We're going to be making some tiramisu. Yes, we are making tiramisu as a vegan. Hallelujah. Okay, so I actually love tiramisu, but the thing is, I've never made it ever because it always seems like such a difficult task. It never seemed something approachable, and I know that traditional tiramisu is like definitely not vegan. So basically, I like never eat tiramisu. What a sad life. <laughs> Um, I did have it a couple of times when I lived in London and it was so good, but I think the place that sold the vegan tiramisu, I think they closed down and also I'm no longer in London, so that's great. So now we're gonna have to make our own tiramisu because there's no other option, okay? And I just like really wanna be a type of person that makes vegan tiramisu, like I wanna be that person. And I found this recipe and I'm very excited to try it. It is by Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. She has a great blog with lots of vegan recipes. And when I typed in into google.com, vegan tiramisu, her recipe came up. It seems to be very popular and it seems relatively approachable. Like it doesn't seem as scary as one would think. So yeah, I'm gonna link her recipe down below. I'm just gonna be following her recipe. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I am hungry <laughs> for some tiramisu. Okay, let's get started. Okay, okay. I guess the first step is that you need to have lady fingers. Now I am Asian and I don't really know what lady fingers are. I know they're like some sort of a pastry, but basically what Sam did is that she actually made some cake, like a vanilla cake. So we're gonna start with making that. So basically we're making vegan lady fingers. I'm gonna get an apron because, you know, don't wanna mess up this dress, okay. All right guys, Woo! Chef Rose in the house. I'm just, I just wanna fast forward to the moment where I can just put the tiramisu in my mouth. That would be fantastic. All right, we're starting with flour. I've got this thing of, ooh, this all purpose flour. I need measuring cups. One day I will not be a mess and I will be prepared for a video, but that day is not today, my friends. That day is not today. Okay, so I guess we're starting with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm so excited to have tiramisu, guys. We're gonna do one and a half cups of sugar. Woo! You know what, we need a little comfort food right now, okay? Two teaspoons of baking soda. There's a reason why I don't film these cook with me videos very often because I'm just a mess, okay? Me cooking and talking at the same time is just like, it's a disaster. Anyway, two teaspoons. Uh, one teaspoon of salt. By the way, I already have the oven preheating. Yes, I actually remembered. Usually I forget. So we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. So those are the dry ingredients. Pretty simple so far. Now what's next? We're gonna mix the wet ingredients together first. I'm gonna just put this aside. That's the dry. So wet ingredients, one third cup of non-dairy milk. I made this almond milk just now. By the way, if you need an almond cow, link is down below. You can make your own almond milk at home. It's awesome. Okay, so one and a third cup of non-dairy milk. I'm using almond. Two third cup of light oil. So I have here some canola oil. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God damn. Quarter cup of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. I got some apple cider vinegar here. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Ah, guys. Tiramisu. You know, did I ever tell you I used to live in Italy? I probably mentioned it about 15 million times. But, um, ugh, those were the days. I gained like 12 pounds. It was great. I was not vegan at the time, but anyway. <laughs> All right, so was I supposed to do that? Oh God, yes. Mix the wet ingredients together. And then we're gonna pour the wet ingredients into the dry and mix until the batter comes together. And she says not to over mix. Do I mix with the whisk? I don't know, I guess so. We're gonna mix with the whisk. Or maybe I shouldn't have. Ooh, don't mix with the whisk, my friends. Okay, I'm just gonna switch. So we're just gonna mix. Ooh, it's 
looking nice already. I hope I'm not over mixing. She says that we should use two like cake pans, but I just have this big thing. So I'm just gonna use this and hope for the best. We're just gonna grease it lightly. I need a spray, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use my hands. This might be too big, but whatever. It'll do the trick, right? Yeah, maybe I'll just flatten it out. Okay, there's the cake. Oh my God. The oven is preheating at 350 and I think it's already done preheating. So I'm gonna stick this in. I have to bake it for 22 to 28 minutes until the tops are golden and a toothpick comes out clean. Okay, so that is step number one. The next step, I think we should actually do the cream layer. First, let me just um, situate myself. Just, I'll be right back. All right guys, so we do need to soften the cashew, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna do one cup of cashews. We need to soften the cashews. Now where is a little pot? Okay. I don't understand people that have very like clean kitchens, like where nothing is like a mess. I'm like, how do you live that life? I wish, I wish I could. Okay, so we're doing one cup of cashews and we're just gonna soften on the stove. I'm just gonna eat one. Mm. Cashews are so good. One cup of cashews, I'm gonna put some water. We're gonna bring this to a boil. What else do we need? So we need to whip up some <laughs> Why can't I talk? We need to whip up some coconut milk. So I have coconut milk in the fridge. I'm hoping I bought the right one. There's like different types of coconut milk in a can. There's the ones that, you know, don't separate. And then there's the ones that do separate. And then you get like that full fat, like coconut cream and then you whip it and it becomes like a whipped cream. I think I bought the right one. Okay, let's just see here. So basically what happens when you have canned coconut milk that does separate is that when you put it in the fridge and chill it, it separates so that it becomes very, very thick and then you're able to whip it into a cream. Did I say that already? Yes. All right, the moment of truth. Did it separate? No. Did it not? <gasps> no. Ah! Oh, you know what? I think it does separate, but I don't think I left it in the, um, what should I call it? In the fridge long enough. Oh my God, I love coconut milk. Mmm. Oh my God, that's so good. So now what do I do? It's not separated. Oh, this is very stressful. I'm just gonna, okay, YOLO. What do I do? This is not what I was hoping for. It's my fault because the directions do say, let it chill overnight. And I knew this, but I didn't know I was gonna be doing this today, so. Oh, guys, it's very stressful. You know what, we're just gonna do it. It's not gonna be as thick. Okay, so we're gonna get now the mixer going. Oh God. I can't even do this. <laughs> it's not looking promising, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna try to mix this. I wonder if I wonder if freezing it would have worked. Cause I was thinking about freezing the can. Huh? Sorry, that's my rice cooker. Anyway, let me let me do this. Okay, the verdict is nothing is happening. Ah! So I got a ton of coconut milk splattered all over the place and I just could not whip it guys. So so I think my solution is going to be, what is my solution? I'm gonna have to make the rest of this layer less liquidy so that we get a more thick kind of situation. That's gonna have to be my solution. You know what? Let's make the coffee. Let's put this away for now because it's stressing me out. Now we have to make espresso. This is the third thing that we need here. We need to make espresso. This is one thing that I'm you know, I'm pretty confident about. I've got my little handy dandy mocha. What, what, do you, what do they call this again? I never remember. Percolator. How much coffee do we need? We're supposed to make four shots of espresso. So we're just gonna make this coffee. Okay, let's, let's do this here. Okay. And now I'm just gonna try to deal with this cream layer, which is stressing me out. So I need to add cashews in a blender along with the non-dairy milk, agave, and vanilla extract. We can do that part. We're gonna use this smaller uh, blender thing. I'm supposed to add half a cup of non-dairy milk. I'm gonna do quarter cup because I don't wanna make it as liquidy, okay? Because the, the cream, the coconut cream is too liquidy. It's not whipping the way that I want it to. I'm so sad. We're doing three tablespoons of agave or maple syrup. So we're doing that. 
Oh my god, and then you're just gonna have to... Mmm. Don't you love doing that? Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm! One teaspoon of vanilla extract. I should just keep a bunch of cans of coconut milk in the fridge. Because like, who, you know, puts the can in the night before? Like, I'm not that organized of a human. So, vanilla extract is done. I think, I think the cashews, they have to be done now. Come on. Okay, cashews, is it soft enough? I mean, it's good enough. I'm gonna rinse it slightly in cold water, just in case. In case of what, I'm not sure. I'm gonna stick the cashews in to the blender. I think they'll blend. I think they'll blend. Mm -mm. Let's, let's, let's do this, let's blend it. Okay, it definitely needs a little help. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add one tablespoon. Uh, one extra tablespoon of the milk because we added half the milk amount I'm just gonna add that so we can we can aid the blending process Ooh. Uh, Oh my god uh. <laughs> Hold on There we go. All right friends. Ooh, okay. Let me just mm. So I think this is gonna happen when there's a will there's a way guys you're supposed to add in the cashew mixture into the coconut milk mixture. Now remember, I made mine a little bit thicker. You see, ooh, ooh, cake is done. I made the cashew mixture a bit thicker than the recipe because of the fact that my coconut milk failed on me. Well, I failed and I was not prepared. The thing is, I had that coconut milk can sitting in the fridge for at least like four hours. I guess you really do need to have it overnight in the fridge. Anyway, lessons learned. I'll never learn this lesson. I feel like this has happened to me multiple times before. <laughs> okay, gotta get all of that cashew cream. This is precious stuff. I kind of want to lick it. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Why are cashews so good? Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this. Mm. I'm gonna um, high power that shit. Okay, so this is as good as it's gonna get. It's still pretty liquidy. I don't think it's supposed to be liquidy. So I am a bit concerned. Yeah, but anyway, let's check on the cake. I always use a chopstick. Ooh, it's definitely not done. Oh, or is it done? Ooh. It needs a little more time, maybe like four minutes. What we need, guys, is four shots of espresso, two tablespoons of coffee liqueur. We basically need three quarter cup of liquid, essentially. Is there a difference between using these for the liquid and like using like a liquid measuring cup? Because someone told me that it's like different but I'm like, why would it be different? That makes no sense. But anyway, we're gonna start with the coffee liqueur. We're using Kahlua. It's vegan, the original. It is delicious. I might have to drink some after this, okay? Two tablespoons of coffee liqueur. We're just gonna use the same tablespoon as the agave. Two tablespoons of coffee liqueur, okay? We're doing four shots of espresso. I definitely don't think that we need to add any water. So here we go. Ooh. Fancy. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Let's mix that up. Okay. Let me have a little. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Let me just take a moment to gather my thoughts. Okay. So I've sufficiently poked this cake many times. It almost looks like it's like not done, but it's coming out clean. So I'm going to assume it's done. It looks nice and golden. Ooh. It's kind of done, I think. You guys see all my marks? <laughs> okay, so this looks legit. I'm just gonna... Mm. Now what? Let the cakes cool completely. Oh my god, you guys. It's like, a... it's like 7 o'clock. When am I gonna have tiramisu? Is it gonna happen? Okay, well, I have to let this cool, which is gonna take a very long time. Alright guys, so I put the cream in the fridge. I'm just gonna let this cool, and then I'll be back in, I don't know, in a while, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, friend. Whoa! It's too close up. All right, friends. I feel like, oh God. There's a lot that just happened. I filmed an entire video, another video, because I had to film another video. Yes, and I also drank some wine in the video. So basically, I'm a little, little tipsy. 
So we're gonna have a fun time putting this together. So we're back. We are in a different state of mind than before. And I'm going to take this lovely cake, which is gigantic, and I'm gonna, okay, that's not what happened. We're gonna try to, um, ooh, we're gonna try to like dump it onto this, onto this, um, guys, I had, I literally had one glass of wine. I'm like, okay, maybe one and a half glasses, half a bottle, almost half a bottle. And um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, guys. I'm feeling it. Come on, please work. Please work. Nope. Okay, so let's just try to get this out. I'm not gonna care if it if it gets messed up. Did I not grease it enough? Like, is that the situation? <gasps> oh, actually, it, it might be fine. It's just very, very soft. Oh my God, what's happening? Ooh. Okay, so some of it came off. This happened. I mean, it's fine. Okay, let's just work with what we have here. We have this uh, piece of cake, and apparently I have to turn it into Butterfingers, and I don't really know what Butterfingers are, but I did see Sam's video where she kind of like chopped it in like, you know, what supposedly is like Butterfingers. I'm just gonna take a bite of this. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. I like the cake though, like, it's like super fluffy, very cake-like. Do you know what I mean? Am I just drunk? I don't know. So I'm just gonna like cut this like that. Ooh, it's so good. The cake is worth it on its own, you know? Cheers, I might as well drink. You know what, we've made sufficient progress. I think we've made what I think is supposed to be Butterfingers. I have this lovely tray here. Okay, so we're gonna assemble by uh, putting the lady fingers in a single layer, okay? Oh my god, I am so excited. It's basically just cake, okay? Cake in a layer. Spoon over half of the espresso sauce, then spread over the cream mixture. Now, let me grab the cream and pray for me, guys. Pray for me that it'll work. Okay, so we're gonna spoon the uh, espresso mixture onto, ooh. Okay, is this how you make tiramisu? Like, I don't, am I gonna be a woman that can make tiramisu? Am I, am I? I would like to be that woman. Okay, so I think that's half, I don't know. This is the part where I'm like most uncertain, but we're gonna put the layer of the cream. But the cream is so good, I did try it, guys. I think we can do like three layers. It's a dessert lasagna. I guess Italians really like their layers, okay? This is so decadent. This is perfect for this time of year, by the way, especially when we'd be staying at home, okay? Mm. Okay, let's do another layer of the lady fingers. Okay, so. <gasps> Second layer of the, the coffee, the liqueur. And then we're doing more of this uh, lovely cream sauce. Now my drunkenness is really taking over. It's not gonna be the prettiest, maybe, but um, I feel like tiramisu is like never really that pretty, or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making an excuse. I don't know how this works. Like, is it supposed to get really soggy? Like, is that, is that the plan? I don't know. Final layer of cream. We're just gonna do the rest of the cream. Whoo! If this actually turns out to taste good, it wasn't like so difficult, you know? Just have a glass of wine, make it. It's a fun time. Oh my God. Mmm. We're gonna have to do a little something something. I don't like to waste any of that cream. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This alone. It's delicious. Mm. So apparently I have to let this sit in the fridge for a minimum of three hours. That is difficult. Three hours? You know what? It's kind of cold outside. It's like zero degrees, maybe like minus one or two. So I might actually put it in my patio and my balcony. Is that is that okay? I don't know. Is that gonna freeze it? I'm just gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna cover this up and I think I'm gonna put it into uh, my, I can't talk. I had too much wine. I'm gonna put it in my balcony and let it sit for two hours. She says fridge for three hours minimum. So I'm assuming balcony is two hours minimum because balcony is a bit colder than the fridge, I think. How cold is the fridge? The only thing I will say, 
This is a very long process. I'll see you in two hours. All right, you guys, so I got impatient and I had to just take it out. It's been about an hour. It's been sitting outside. I feel like it's time. So what we're gonna do is sprinkle on some cocoa powder. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh God, do I wanna just, ooh. It looks legit, kind of, all right. It's, it's looking like tiramisu, guys. Is this tiramisu or is this tiramisu? Let's just get a little piece. <gasps> oh my God, what is happening? Guys, friends. Oh my. It looks a lot more mushy than hers did, but let's give it a try. <laughs> Guys. Mm -hmm -hmm. I am in shock. I just made tiramisu. If I had the correct consistency of the cream and the Butterfingers, I think I could have cooked it a little bit longer. It's definitely more mushy, but also it's kind of nice, but it has that tiramisu taste. That's what matters. We're gonna have to do a little close up. Guys, I'm a woman that knows how to make tiramisu. Let me just. Mm, I am floored. It's so good. This is so good. I am shocked. I am so happy right now. My friends, this is a piece of tiramisu. Who knew? This is tiramisu. I made tiramisu. I made tiramisu, my friends. So that was my cook with me video. That was me making tiramisu. Tiramisu, tiramisu, tiramisu. I don't know if I say it right. Oh my God, I'm in shock. It is so good. I can't wait to share this with no one because I can't see anybody. Thank you so much to Sam from uh, It's Not Like Chicken. No, what is, what is her name? It doesn't taste like chicken, yes. Thank you so much to Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. Her recipe is awesome. Honestly, it tastes just like tiramisu. It is so good, highly recommend. I'm sure that uh, you could make it better because you've seen the mistakes I've made. If I can make this, then anyone can make this. And I think that you can serve this to anybody and they would love it. There you go, I am now a woman that knows how to make tiramisu. Again, the original recipe will be linked down below. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Now let me just finish the rest of my tiramisu.